You know, in all of my time of playing this game, I never knew that you could sit on this statue. Not only that, but there's an achievement for sitting on the statue. How did I not know that? The good thing is, it is now Sunday. Sunday means every domain is open, we have max resin plus 5 condensed, and we have this event currently going on. Oh, also fun little fact, I went and beat the Wolf of the North and we got two of these to drop from one fight, so I'm very happy about that. And on the contrary, I tried to take down Ashdaha and, uh, well, I lost. So we're gonna start this out by trying to get some more talent level up stuff for Ayaka, and maybe we'll attempt Ashdaha again? But I really do want to use as much resin as possible in these domains right now since we get double drops. Okay, not gonna lie, that was very close for the domain. Kaching almost died twice and Xingqiu's almost dead. So as compensation for our hard work and effort, we're going to get two of the highest tier drops on the next one. So as I said, here is where we're going to get those top tier drops. It, it just, it must be saving them all for the last run. That's completely fine. As they always say, third time is the charm. So this is where we'll finally get those drops that we've been hoping for. Right there, we got one. That's really not that much. I know I could leave, but you know, we have a few condensed resin and I don't want to have to wait for this domain. So I'll just spend one condensed resin and then we'll leave. One and, and then I'll spend one more just to actually get a good drop. Completely ignore the fact that Kaching died. I was just simply using her as a sacrifice to see if we'd get better drops. That's all- so look at this! Sacrifice Kaching equals better drops. Confirmed. Okay, see? See, watch this. Kaching, dead, right? Ayaka just finished off the job easily, and then we go and claim the better drops. Have I discovered the secret to getting better drops in Genshin Impact? D absolutely not. Okay, last time. Last one. We're only going to use this, we're going to save that last condensed resin. So right after we get these drops, we're going to head on over to another Okay, one more time. This one is actually the last one because I have no more condensed resin right now and I mean I could make more, I suppose, but... Well, that's very disappointing. Weeklies reset in about three hours for me. So, I want to try and take down Ashdaha before the weeklies reset. That way I can beat him twice. Obviously, Ayaka needs a lot of its drops, so it'd be better to get as many as possible. Does that mean I'm gonna be able to beat it? Well, no. I'm going to try again with this team. If we still can't beat it, I'll see if I can level up any characters or weapons, and if that still doesn't work, then I might try and go on co-op and get everyone to use sword characters, which is never a fun time. So let's just hope that the time I lost was a fluke and we'll be fine now. I think the biggest problem we have here is we don't have a consistent shield being generated. And with the damage over time, shields are so useful in this fight. Okay, the first power is going to be Pyro, which I think is what it did last time. Which is not good considering I lost last time. You know what? Instead of trying to attack it while it does this, I'm simply going to run. I'd rather have this fight take longer but actually be successful rather than try to just speed through it and lose. Are you kidding? I put down Bennett's heal and it pushed me out of it. No, let me- I just lost my entire heal. Ashdaha, why you gotta be such a big boss? Okay, take two- oh no. Uh, okay. No, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Uh, I have no abilities up, which is very cool. Very nice. Shingcho's almost dead as well. Here we go with the absorbing electro. Not good. I don't know if it's better to just try and run during this phase, but I'm going to try and keep doing damage to it because well, I'm probably gonna die anyways, so that's cool. Okay, Xing Cho is officially dead. Kaching is barely holding on to dear life right now. Albedo is our meat shield and he is now dead. And I suddenly can no longer kill this boss. And for everyone that will comment just fight a lower level version of the boss, no, because I want the best drops possible since we can only do this once per week. Okay, okay, maybe this can help? Since we're not using Ayaka in this fight, we might as well give Kaching the best equipment possible. And now we just hope 
<laughs> that we don't get Pyro and Electro. I don't know if that really matters, but the only times I've lost to this is when it's Pyro or Electro. So I'm just going to pretend that that's the reason. Oh, look. Look, it's absorbing Pyro again. Yay. So do I just lose now or later? Oh, now. Okay, cool. Yeah, this ain't looking so good for us. Okay, well, if we can't use Albedo to generate enough shields or really any shields at all, then we might as well slap Ayaka on the team. Surely, this has to be the winning strategy. Oh, here we go with Pyro again. That's fun. I don't know how we have shields generating, but I'll take it. It's Ayaka versus the world. And the world won. I don't know how I beat this thing like three times in a row when I first unlocked it. Also, our statue of the seven is out of heals at this point. So that's really good. I'm gonna see if I can get randomly matched people to use swords. We are almost there. We have one person who doesn't seem to want to swap off of Raiden, which I mean, it's understandable. It's Raiden Shogun. Thank you. I'm going to say right now, I'm going to die in here. I see no scenario in which I don't die. Could I have brought in Bennett? Well, yes, but I'd be doing absolutely no damage and I don't even have that much ER on him. So we're going to stick with Kaching, and I probably should have put Miss Blitter on her, huh? Oh, great. We're getting pyro again i will say we did actually get a little lucky with the fact that we got people in co-op randomly who were willing to use swords only that can sometimes be a very painful thing to try and do no 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 oh this isn't looking so good oh this is looking great i can't wait to get a gene on this account honestly oh and for everyone who saw the catalyst only trailer that i put out the spells only you don't have to worry swords only is not going anywhere okay i did write oh no uh oh yeah uh as i was saying i did write in the description that swords only is not going anywhere you don't have to worry about that and well one thing we do have to worry about is beating this boss i think we might have lost two two people oh we're all at very low hp as well which is cool this is not going well okay round three we regrouped swapped up the team a little bit let's see if we can do it this time also isn't it a 50 50 chance of it getting the pyro and electro variants versus cryo and whatever the other one is this is looking i, I don't want to jinx it but it's looking pretty promising kind of oh dang the bennett is just gonna tank this i guess i probably shouldn't have tried to do the same oh boy oh boy we're taking so much damage oh get in the heal get in the heal i can't tell what is bennett's heal and what is just giant pyro damage oh it's okay i'm the least useful here i believe in these three they can do it they have two healers and a kazuha there's no way that they lose this right it's looking pretty good and i'm not helping whatsoever okay see you, you just need a good team and hopefully we can get any of its drops okay Yes, we got one that we needed, and we can just convert this one. And, I mean, it's crit. Crit's always nice. All of the fellow sword users have now gone back to their own worlds. I must say they were all very nice about the whole thing. I somehow forgot to finish doing my daily commissions, so with about an hour left to do them, I'm doing them right now. I'd really like to get Xing Cho leveled up again and ascended because he's the only sword character that we have, which is not at the same ascension level as the rest of the characters. I love how in this one oceaned fight, I have gotten four of the frogs. The odds of that are very small. Come on, come on, luck, luck, luck. That's not luck. See, I need these, and I know I can probably craft enough, but I'm still gonna have to farm more of them anyways, so I might as well just farm them in the meantime. With our last bit of resin for today, we're gonna hopefully get not what we wanted. We do just have enough to go ahead and craft these, and that gets us Xing Cho up to the same ascension level as at least the other characters. And on top of that, we get ourselves an acquaint fate. But this is not just any acquaint fate, this is a guaranteed four star. All I ask is it is a sword or sword character. Any of them is completely fine with me. Oh. Oh, please. Please, sword. 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 That is a C1 
Diluc. It could have been a Kaching. It could have been a Chi Chi. It could have been a Jean. It could have been a Skyward Blade. But no, no, no. Give me a C1 Diluc on the account I can't even use it on. That would have been so nice to get a Jean or a Chi Chi so we'd have a second actual healer. And I did check the pity right before we did that. That was our 50th wish into pity. So it was early pity, but it was a C1 Diluc. Look, now our Diluc can deal 15% more damage to opponents whose HP is above 50%. And this will be really helpful never because we're not using him. Oh, you know what we could also do is we could give him the Unforged. It's so cool to have a five-star character with a five-star weapon that you can't touch. Speaking of which, hey Amber, you enjoying that Skyward Harp? Or maybe our Yanfei here is enjoying her lost prayer to the Sacred Winds. You know, sometimes I hate this game. How lucky can we get? That is what we are about to find out because it is now Monday. This means our weekly bosses have reset and we can test our luck to see if we can get some decent drops from this thing. It really is a shame that this thing is immune to both cryo and animo because I would love to be using Ayaka here. But let's see if potentially we can get some... Oh, okay. No, uh, I have a question though. This boss is animo and cryo. So why does it drop the topaz one. Is anybody else confused by that? But besides that, we got one of the drops that we want, another one that we can just transmute if need be, and an artifact that I really don't need. Actually, elemental mastery with elemental mastery and energy recharge. You know what? Maybe it's not that bad. I think all of my luck in this game goes to the weekly bosses. Even though we do seem to get lucky with the drops from weekly bosses, that doesn't mean we get lucky with actually beating them. I have a feeling we are going to wipe here. But let's hope that I am wrong. Ah, we've already taken lethal damage. Okay, very nice. Alrighty, third phase time. Uh, yeah, I'm not feeling too confident here, not gonna lie. Especially when it just keeps teleporting away as I have my bursts up and I'm trying to hit it. That's a great use of all that time. Oh my gosh, wait, Ayaka just shredded this guy. Oh, that was amazing. Okay, okay, good job, Ayaka. And we get to it. I think this is the exact drop that we actually needed. And a dream solvent, just for the heck of it. Another one of these. Defense percent, we're gonna ignore that because the other drops were so good. Now we're back here. Question, do these symbols have anything to do with which elements the boss is actually going to absorb? Because it very well might. Okay. Can we do this without the help of co-op? I think it might actually have something to do with those symbols on the door. Because one of them looked like it would be hydro, and this boy just absorbed some hydro. Also, I really need some shields, and I can't generate any. I would say it definitely correlates to the symbols on the door. Because we had hydro, and now we have electro, and those were the two colored symbols on the door. This is probably something everyone who plays Genshin knew except for me. But this is the first account I've ever actually unlocked this boss on. It's funny how well it looks like this fight is going and then all of a sudden your entire team just gets vaporized. Oh yeah, we are we are so dead it's not even funny. We are so dead. Yup. We got close, much closer than we did last time, but close means absolutely nothing in this case. I have a sneaky suspicion we are about to die. Our team looks relatively healthy right now, but I don't think that's gonna last very long. Oh, we got Ayaka's burst up. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's enough. Oh, it is. Thank goodness. I know having a shield in here is really valuable, but Albedo does not get us a shield very easily, and thank you for giving us two of the items that we needed. See, I can do it without co-op. It's just extremely difficult. Ayaka is starting to get pretty strong, which is nice, especially considering the fact that she has no good artifacts yet. <gasps> we actually got a gold? That's crazy. I think the game glitched. But it wouldn't happen twice in a a row now, would it? Unless... Okay, no. <laughs> I had to try. Now, I know that this video has pretty much been me fighting bosses, clearing domains, grinding, leveling things up, but that's unfortunately what this account needs the most right now. I could go ahead and do a bunch of story quests, but right now I really want to get this account grinded up, so whenever I'm on this account, I'm just trying to farm as much as possible. You know what I forgot I had in my inventory? These. We have a couple, I mean, we don't care about these at all. These are just fodder for us. 
us, which is still nice, but two five star artifacts. Can we get anything? D oh my gosh. Crit attack, crit damage, but HP percent who would i want to give that to i don't even know and our second artifact is hp percent okay i know this is already shorter than most of the other sword only videos but i figured i would rather have a shorter video instead of just dragging things on so to end this off we're gonna go through we're going to upgrade ayaka's burst and then we're also going to go ahead and level up kaching's burst so our two current main dps are on their way to becoming as strong as possible very very slowly